Hi everyone, I'm Daniela. Welcome to Black Cat Kitchen. Today we're making stuffed shells. This recipe was always a special occasion Sunday lunch dish. I can remember as a child making them with my nonna and then with my parents. But they aren't really that hard to make and you can easily pull them together on a weeknight. You're going to love having this recipe in your rotation, so let's get started. See the description below for a list of ingredients. Let's start with our tomato sauce. In your saucepan, heat up three tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of tomato paste. You wanna cook those together until the tomato paste really starts to melt into the olive oil and get caramelized. Add in three cloves of lightly crushed garlic and one 700 milliliter jar of tomato passata. We're going to season this with salt and let it slowly start to reduce on medium heat until all of that sauce and the flavors come together. Doesn't that look great? This is a really easy tomato sauce, but if you want to make your own from scratch, check out my recipe here. For this recipe, we're using conchiglioni, the largest shell pasta you can find. This way, we can stuff them with that beautiful cheesy filling. We're going to set a large pot of water on to boil and we want to season this generously with salt. Now pour in your shell pasta, 500 grams of it, and give it a stir to make sure all of that pasta has gone into the water. And here I am, I can't find the spoon I'm after. Does anyone else have that problem? Cook your pasta just a few minutes less than the package directions. Mine called for 14 minutes, so I've cooked them for 12. When the timer goes off, drain your pasta and give it a light rinse so that the shells don't stick together. Now that your sauce has been simmering for about 20 to 30 minutes, we're going to fish out those garlic cloves and give it a final taste to check for seasoning. Mine needs just a little bit more salt, so I'll add that in, but if you find the flavors haven't quite balanced, you might just need a pinch of sugar. It just depends on your tomato and how sweet they are. Your sauce is done, so remove it from the heat and we'll set it aside once our shells are ready. We're using 300 grams of frozen spinach that we've thawed out overnight. You can easily do this with fresh spinach and wilt it down yourself, but it's a lot easier just to use the frozen spinach because you need a heck of a lot of spinach to get this amount. Now spinach holds a lot of water, so we're going to make sure that we squeeze out all of that water until our spinach is as dry as we possibly can get it. Really channel your inner nonna here as you're squeezing out that water. You can see the spinach is much drier now, but my pieces are a little bit long and I really want them to stir nicely into our mix, so I'm going to give it a quick chop just to break down the pieces a little bit. Now for our stuffing. To 500 grams of ricotta cheese, we're going to add one garlic that we've grated really finely. Then we're going to add in 100 grams of freshly grated parmigiano reggiano. To this, we're also going to add 100 grams of freshly grated mozzarella. Isn't that cheese heaven? Finally, we're going to add our spinach that we drained and chopped up and a healthy grating of nutmeg. We'll give that a really good stir until it's all combined and then give it a little taste to see if it needs any more seasonings. Mine needs just a little bit of salt. Now to finish our stuffing, we'll add two eggs and really mix that together well so all of the eggs and the cheese mixture is incorporated. This will help when it bakes up in the oven to keep your shells nice and firm. Before assembling, let's preheat our oven to 190 degrees Celsius or 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Pour some of your sauce into a 20 by 30 centimeter pan. You want just about a centimeter of sauce in the bottom. Now we're going to take our shells and open them up and stuff with a tablespoon of the filling in each one. You can see here, it's really simple. Just spoon it in. Once your shell is full, lay it in your sauce and continue with the rest of your shells until you run out of filling or shells. It's important to remember you want the cheesy side up. You don't want all that beautiful cheese filling coming out of your shells. Once you've completed your layer of shells, pour a little bit of extra sauce on the top, just for color, and then we're going to top it with the rest of our cheese. So about 150 grams of grated mozzarella all over the top, and then another 50 grams of parmigiano reggiano. The mozzarella gives that beautiful stringiness, and the parmigiano gives it that nice nutty brownness on top. This is going to bake in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes, or until it's all bubbling up and the top is nice and starting to get golden. If you 
don't have enough room in your pan to bake all of your shells, these freeze beautifully. I like to set up a few that I just put into freezer pans, pop them in the freezer, and then I've got that home cooked meal whenever I want it. If you really want to up your pasta game, check out my pasta from scratch recipe here. And once you've mastered that, try my pasta primavera. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a big like, and leave a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching, and we can't wait to see you next time.